Oh, I know. You Freddy bitch. You thought it was over. No, I come to tell you a little story of families. How families are in Jamaica. Some families go one way and some families go the other way. And I'm going to tell you a story just about a couple of members of my family. Now, if your family is connected to Jamaica or the Caribbean, I know you remember Jim Brown. Now, that was one of my uncles. Now, Jim Brown, he was a straight up trooper cop. He would fuck you up just to look at you. Do you understand that, Freddy? He would walk up on a man, and if your woman looked good, he would walk up to that woman and rub her on the cheek, grab her on the ass, and he would stick his motherfucking tongue down her motherfucking throat. And after he got through that, he would turn and look at you. And if you frowned or groveled or anything, he would blow your motherfucking head off. Do you understand that? He would blow your motherfucking head off and then turn around and give the woman a hundred thousand dollars. That's the type of motherfucker. That's the type of people that I grew up. This is a very old family. It's seven houses to this family. And then a long time ago, my first cousin, no, my uncle's son, Coke. Now, Coke, when Coke was out, Coke would rumble back through from Jamaica into America and he was doing his motherfucking thing. And you got to understand the type of brother Coke was. Coke was psychopathic, just like his daddy, a goddamn trooper cop. That's the thing I love about him. He was honest, but he was a goddamn trooper cop. He would fuck you up. I would make videos and that motherfucker would take the videos and he would broadcast the videos all over Jamaica. And he would come back in the States and he would do things to motherfuckers. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying, Freddie? My family spans not only in Jamaica, but all over Europe and Canada and other places. And you called the Grizzly King a pedophile. Do you understand what the fuck you said? And you like to front money. And you like to talk about shit. Let me tell you about something that you look at every day. It's called Ronald James. It's a big ass building. It's got their name stuck on the goddamn top of it. Do you know that is an investment house? They handle people's money and do family business for almost 40 motherfucking years. Do you understand that, Freddy? The motherfucker's been handling family business actually for your information, the rum business. Because I have a family member that used him to invest the money from that. So, I have always stood there at the top of that motherfucker when I come there annually to pick up the family check. Do you understand that, motherfucker? So you look up at me every motherfucking day as I look down on a buck-ass bitch nigga like you. Yeah, gay community, huh? You like living in a gate community? <laughs> that means there's only one way in, bitch. And you have no way out. So you just get all choked up and talk that shit and make a video talking that shit. 
and offend me even more. Bitch nigga. Because I'm also good at doing research. I had spent 15 years of doing it. You understand what I'm saying? When you play with the DOD, bitch, I am the DOD. <laughs> but you sit there and you drive the same way home and you live in a gated motherfucking community and you think you can't be fat bitch, nigga. Mm. You never know because I heard that a lot of gangsters in Memphis, a lot of gangsters all over the goddamn place, and they like a rich, fat, succulent ass pig to feed on. Right, Freddy? You got all this money. You about all this shit. You got everything, right, Freddy? You in Memphis, Tennessee with all this money and all them struggling ass, nobody ass people around you, something can happen. Just like in a TV goddamn moment. You know what I'm saying? Freddy bitch ass gooka. You think you somebody, and I'm telling you, you ain't nobody. And I'm gonna get you, you fucking buck. You understand that? Because you don't offend a king and think it's all gonna be just laughed away. Oh, cause it's some roast today. No, bitch, I don't roast. And the little girl that you said I molested, she's Trinidadian. And her father, I'm also will help me in squashing a buck ass bitch like you. You understand? But not only you going to have some Jamaicans to deal with, you going to have to deal with some Trinidadians. <laughs> so it's going to make it very easy to reach out and touch you.